Operation Battlefield Control. Stand by. Primary objective achieved. Welcome back, Commander. Hello everyone, it's Yintan here, and today I'm going to be going over the second of my fundamentals of FC, which is positioning. And positioning is something that I think a lot of FCs do have that natural understanding of. FCs in general, you know, have seen other FCs, they know about anchoring, they know about ranges, so they'll naturally kind of pick certain things up. However, I think a lot of people do get into this trap of static positioning, of thinking about one optimal range and just sitting and keeping that going throughout the entire fight, which is almost never the optimal way to FC. So what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about um, basically how to understand where you need to be in a fight and how to get there. Uh, and this is something that I consider my own personal greatest skill as an FC in terms of the fundamentals. I think engaging is my personal worst aspect, which is why I wanted to get it out of the way first. Uh, and it's something that is used in almost every doctrine to an incredible degree. You'll notice that the best FCs almost never are keeping one specific range. They're moving in and out, they're, you know, basically they're, they're being as dynamic with their positioning as possible. Uh, one doctrine where this was, you know, incredibly... Uh, crucial to its operation were Ishtars, and whilst Ishtars are now out of the meta, uh, Munins and to some degree other basic other MWD cruiser doctrines have this same reliance on pinpoint accuracy when it comes to positioning. They've got to be in the exact right place for the exact right moment. So with that, let's go on to our first point that we're going to be talking about. One of the most crucial aspects to being able to position yourself well in fights in EVE is uh, the ability to assess the strengths and flaws of not only your own fleet and not only the enemy's fleet but how they actually interact relatively uh, and this is something that can take a lot of time to get a natural feel for but it's also something that can be done very methodically uh, and very slowly before the fight's even begun what you want to do is you want to be using your intel tools to get de-scan compositions of the enemy fleet and to be able to understand you know, what their doctrine is likely to do. You can tell quite a lot from a composition and that will help you to figure out you know, what your fleet can do that the enemy fleet can't. Uh, and this can include things like range, for example, are you in a longer range fleet than them? Can you project damage further? If so, how can you use that to your advantage? Do they have more logistics than you? If so, maybe you want to stay farther away. If you have more logistics than them, maybe you want to stay closer and then use that time to kill off all of their logistics before pulling back because they will not be able to effectively hammer your logistics whilst you're in that range. It can also include things like speed. Can you outmaneuver them? Can you get on top of some of their you know, weaker elements or some of their more crucial elements or get into a position where you're going to be doing more damage to say, if, uh, I hate to use this example again, but can you get around so that you're you're between them and their logistics, so that their logistics are closer to you than the enemy fleet is to you? That's another. That's one of probably one of the best positions you can ever be in, is where your enemies cannot shoot you, but you can shoot some portion of them. Uh, and there's also other factors of this, you know, things like uh, tracking, uh, things like e war. Can you reduce the enemy's range? And this is something that uh, a lot of FCs, you know, will utilize on some base level. But you want to really, really think about what you, your fleet can use as leverage before you even begin to start the engagement. As it will help you to engage very, not only very effectively, but also engage in the way that's most likely to win you the fight before it's even begun. So, after you've assessed the strengths of the enemy... The next thing you want to start doing is you want to start planning the engagement. You want to start planning the fight that's going to come after you, you know, hit the enemies for that initial blow. Uh, and this is something that I find that a lot of FCs kind of miss. A lot of newer FCs, you know, don't get the um, 
don't have the experience of people planning it around them, so they just completely ignore it. They expect themselves to be able to simply react to the positioning of the enemy fleet instantaneously and just make a decision. And whilst there is definitely nothing wrong with just making a decision, I'd argue that's 90% of what an FC ends up doing anyway. Um, it's always good because you have the information beforehand to make that decision beforehand. You, that will give you the best possible chance of using your leverage to its maximum effect. Um, a key thing that I like to use to illustrate this is uh, being in an MWD cruiser fleet or you know in a smaller gang. If you knew that an enemy fleet was going to jump into you, but you knew that they had a huge, you know, a huge numerical advantage, or maybe they have a ton of webs, you should know that you need to get at range the instant they jump in, but stay just close enough that their tackle starts to drift towards you, starts to try and hold you down. From there, you can then pull away, kill the tackle, and then start to maneuver around and start to try and split people up. And Whilst that does seem very, very basic and very, very intuitive, a lot of people, once it gets to, you know, more even fights, will stop thinking about that. They'll start thinking their, with their plan in terms of what am I going to shoot first, rather than how am I going to put myself in the best position to shoot the people who need to die for me to be able to win the fight. Uh, and that does involve you identifying key threats, and that's something else you want to do at this point. As I said before, you know what you're going to be using to win the fight. So what you want to do is you want to look at the enemy fleet and figure out is there anything in their fleet that either nullifies or mitigates, you know, my ability to use that. That can be as little as a couple of damping ships that would, you know, remove half your DPS uh, by just range damping them with a ton of things. Or, you know, and again, webs are a critical part of this. Webs, you know, have a very long range from recons. But you, a lot of fleets nowadays can operate from outside of them. So you, so what you need to do is you need to keep that in mind when you decide what range to engage at, because it may not be the most optimal range to deal with other things that you need to deal with. And from there, you can think about, okay, so maybe I need to shoot those recons first. Maybe I need to kill the recons off first, so that I can then move in closer. And once I move in closer, I'll be able to do the damage that I need to to break them properly. And this is the kind of thing that you want to be thinking about, you know, basically a minute, two minutes before the fight starts. Before you start engaging, you want to have, you know, even if it's not a full plan, because obviously you do need to some leave, you know, a lot of room to be able to react. But you want to have, an, you know, the the first one to two steps of the fight and where you need to be, and how that's going to help you win the fight in mind before you fight. So, now that you know what and why you're doing, you need to know how you're going to position yourself on grid mechanically. You need to understand what you're going to do to manage your position on grid to be able to achieve the previous effects of, you know, hopefully winning the fight by uh, positioning yourself in an advantageous manner. And to do that, um, you're typically going to use anchoring. However, how you anchor actually has a significant impact on how well your fleet operates. Uh, some people will use, you know, just one style. They'll use either keep at range or orbit or approach, and they'll just never think about it. But that's definitely not the best way to do it, as uh, both keeping at range and orbiting have very different properties. Keeping at range ensures that you have an align that the rest of your fleet is going to keep, and that means that you can stealthily align the whole fleet out to a celestial if you need to. Um, but it also means that you can keep up absolutely zero transversal. If you're very, very good at understanding transversal, um, keeping at range will allow you to have, you know, near zero transversal, and that's, that's incredibly useful for bigger ships. For things like, you know, nightmares or maelstroms, um, or even abaddons to a degree, you know, if you're using any large gun ship, um, you want to be keeping at range. You want to be able to use your own knowledge of, you know, just how the mechanics work, which, as an FC, is expected to be uh, better 
than that of the line members, average, and use that to apply as much damage as possible over your fleet. However, there are times where you would use orbit, and that's because orbiting ensures that you uh, it is very, very difficult for the enemies to then match transverse love you. And it does require you to go a little bit slower, but normally you want to do that when you're trying to get either under someone's guns, or you're trying to simply mitigate some amount of their damage from guns whilst you're from range. Positioning is probably you know, one of the most important parts of seeing, in my opinion. And it's something I consider myself very good at. But in conclusion, I'm going to suggest that people try and use rapid light characters to um, start to learn, or you know, at least focus back on this print on this fundamental. Uh, and that's because you know they have a wide variety of ranges that they can operate from. You can use you know the fury missiles if you need to. You can use um, Kaldari Navy, uh, sorry, faction missiles if you want more range. And each of those have different effects on how you'll go, uh, how you're going to fight, and more importantly, they'll change depending on what you're shooting at. And also, their dynamic positioning is some of the most necessary in the game, as you do have to move out once you hit a reload. You do have to get yourself safe because you're not going to be contributing everything to the fight at that point. Uh, and that's important because it means that you start to learn that it is okay to burn off at range. You start to become used to that. And you start to understand that you can do this in other doctrines when you need to regroup or when you need to change your tact up or maybe just when you need to reassess the fight. Um, if you want to learn more about the first two aspects of it, about you know understanding what's happening within the fight and kind of getting to grips with how I personally deal with that, um, although obviously you may have your own method for understanding it. Uh, I'd suggest you read an article that I'm going to put up uh, here, I think, uh, and that is uh, Sphere Theory, uh, and that's an article I wrote about six months ago, but pretty much everything in it will still hold true. So take a browse of that, and with all that, I hope you fly smart, and take care.